That's actually vodka in there. That's Kostin vodka, that's called. And you can buy it, or at least I do, at the King's Mall. Now, they've sent me in here because I know more about this than anybody else. And in a way, I do. I was up half of last night reading everything anyone has on you. But actually, the only thing worth knowing is the location of the truck. And nobody knows that except you. I just... I cannot think of another way to keep asking the same question. Oh, so I nearly didn't come back in here to tell the truth. But then I thought I owed it to you, Jay. So the coffee machine. You've probably seen it. You push a button, slip your flask of vodka underneath, give it a mix, and off you go. And if you're feeling cocky in that room there, behind that mirror, they're all too focused on what's going on in here to notice. Then it becomes a habit. But when you find yourself buying your own mug, so that other people won't taste vodka on the rim of the other ones, that's when you should know you've got a problem. But you never do. At least I never. Now my boss Natalie, who I like, she knew I'd been drinking. She asked me about it ages ago, even tried to help. But I couldn't tell her the truth. Not the whole truth. Because I love my job. And because I was trapped. Like me, you mean? Like a lot of people. And I had a moment of weakness. I'm still having it, but I don't think I'm a bad person. I don't think any of my team would think I was a bad person. And I don't think they'd say that about you either. That's why I'm here. In my coat. One last time, Jay. For my sake, personally. And even more for your own sake, because it's only going to help. Where did you leave that truck? <laughs>